circular key. Circular key. In Sydney. And um, this wasn't here before. It's on the other side as well. Anyway, about to run out of storage, but this is wow. I saw this on a video, um, I don't know where, somewhere in the US. And um, wow, good on you, Australia. That was sarcasm. Okay? Anyway, be safe all. See you. accomplished there. Anyway, people around so just um, documenting. See is be safe. Oh hang on. We'll do this upside down sign down here. Alright, be safe all. It's everywhere. Look, everything blue or green is coronavirus. taking too long uh, to edit a video with just text and music and whatever pictures um, so uh, I've been paying attention I've been doing my research and I've been documenting uh, to the point where my phone and my computer are at zero storage storage space <laughs> um, I just spent the last couple of hours trying to empty files um, and get things running again anyway uh, to my um, online family uh, I just want to apologize for not uh, keeping in contact um, it's been pretty hectic uh, dealing with um, homelessness <laughs> um, I did always uh, have a roof over my head but not a home um, and I found one that's my home 
I'm sitting in it right now. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's very small, um, but it's it's mine. Um, it's my little place in the world. Uh, so anyway, yay. Um, this is actually a message for those who are still complying um, with all the rules they expect us to follow. Uh, I hope I get all this out. There's so much. Um, okay, uh, Flemington in Melbourne, the hard lockdown uh, with the housing units. Uh, that was the start. That was like the announcement. Uh, to get stage two uh, running um, and they're moving really fast. Uh, as you saw um, on the previous clip, I filmed them um, doing an upgrade with all their green stickers and their signs and everything uh, the day before Flemington got locked down. Um, since then, um, okay, uh, there's a big schmozzle, um, this is mainstream news, a big schmozzle, uh, with, um, a hotel quarantine in Victoria, uh, they were let out and allowed to go across the border or something, or the, and there was something at an airport as well, um, some passengers didn't go to quarantine, they walked straight out of the airport, um, this is all deliberate, uh, and um okay so that was all over the news <laughs> sorry uh, i want to make this quick um and since then of course uh the fake coronavirus has spread into new south wales and now sydney has hot spots um when you can see how they communicate you can see how it's all planned pre-planned and fake why would sydney upgrade all their social distancing stuff on the public transport the day before Melbourne did the hard lockdown the day before anyway um the circles I filmed today the circles in the park uh which is right next to that train station with the green dots in it um anyway I'm seeing a lot more people wearing masks uh, and this message is to people that uh, swear at me and scoff at me for not complying. I refuse to sit on a green dot because it wants me to. Um, and think about it. If everybody was to sit on the same green dot throughout the day, wouldn't everybody be sick from sitting in the same spot? Uh, and those people that go around with a mask on... Um, not practicing the social distancing you're a hypocrite <laughs> I'm sorry but you are um, the mask does not make you immune to anything uh, you are breathing in the air that your body does not want you're breathing that back in I'm seeing people walking around coughing in their masks that's that's not healthy um, anyway uh, Veering off, getting back on to the topic of them communicating. Okay, uh, the first thing I noticed here after all that, um, first thing I noticed here in Sydney, all over the media, uh, there was a place called the Golden Sheath. Um, I think it was a nightclub. Uh, it was plastered all over the news for not practising social distancing outside uh the, in the queue while they were waiting outside um there was pictures put all over the news this is not an isolated incident this was put up there um to to start the ball rolling uh when i travel around the city i see this behavior everywhere nobody's more people are not social distancing than are social distancing i've seen one person stand on one of those green dots um the whole time i've seen one person stand on a green dot and that was today in an empty train station um 
anyway, uh, <laughs> um, okay, so the golden sheath, okay, there's a pattern here. Uh, the next place, um, which is now a coronavirus hotspot, uh, they're conducting testing uh, in the area. Um, they're tracking people who have been through that area. Um, it was called uh, the Crossroads Hotel. And then there was another spot uh, called the Star, which I think is a pub. Can you see the pattern here? Um, a lot of people put videos up uh, with the, the numbers, communicating with the numbers, like the number 33 and 66, but it's also with the words. Okay, we've got the Golden Sheath, Crossroads Hotel, um, and the Star. <laughs> star is a sun, sun, corona. Um, it's just so obvious. It's just so obvious to me. Um, so yeah, if you are still asleep, please wake up. Um, it's all planned. Um, okay. I think I've said everything. Oh, I, out of curiosity, I don't normally do this, but out of curiosity, I looked up a few of these things, uh, on a Gematria website and my jaw fell to the floor. Um, I will hopefully put together a few things that I found on a short video. I don't want to make a huge thing out of it, but it just confirms things. Um, the results just confirm things. Uh, anyway, um, please wake up Australia. Uh, I'm now situated uh, pretty much uh, in the middle of all these hot spots that are erupting with this planned pandemic. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing a lot. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of contradictions, a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of very bizarre behaviour um, from people that look normal. Um, they're not acting normal. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, say that. Um, please be safe out there, guys. Uh, and as I always say these days, turn inwards, um, but get out there and walk around and look at what's going on and don't be afraid. Um, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, you don't have to... Uh, sit or stand six feet away from people. You don't have to use hand sanitizer. I saw a video um, that was shared with me a while ago. Uh, a lady um, tested this hand sanitizer. Uh, she, um, she lit it up like on fire. Uh, and after she put it out, um, she put a different light on it, um, probably, I think it was a UV light or something, um, and the flame was still there. It was still burning, but you couldn't see it with the naked eye, only under this light. So this stuff, the hand sanitizer, is highly flammable. Um, on like, And she put the flame out with water. So you put hand, hand sanitizer on your hands, you wash your hands with water and it, it's still extremely flammable. Um, yeah, so uh, I remember a lot of discussions um, amongst the truth community uh, back in the day when, a, when quite a few of us were newbies um, to YouTube uh, and we were always saying to each other, do the opposite to what they tell us. Everything they tell us to do is a lie, everything. And so many people out there are not doing the opposite to what they tell us. Um, so just remember that, please, do the opposite. Don't use the hand sanitizer. Um, keep clean. Uh, but um, don't comply with what they want us to do. It's all, it's not for our health. Um, we were fine before all this. 
Okay, uh, I've rambled on a bit too long. Um, thank you for listening. I hope I explain things well. Uh, it's really hard to get out what is in my head and what I actually see. Um, and I just hope uh, this wakes a few more people up before it's too late because time is short. Um, get outside and enjoy it while you can. Okay, love you all. See yous.